Hey, what's up? My name is PJ, and in this short video, I'm going to show you a trick for the punchiest, most contrasty, sharp photos you've ever had. I hope you like it. So the first step in this process is to focus on the wider details, the shadows and the highlight on a, on a bigger level across the whole picture. So first thing to do is duplicate your background layer twice. Command J and again. From there with your top layer selected, hit filter, other, high pass filter. And we're going to start with a pretty big one at around the 70 mark. So from there, change your blend mode to soft light. And that's going to give you a really, really, really contrasty image. Too contrasty, in fact. The blacks are too black, the whites are too bright. It's all white, it's all over the shop. So because that's too much, we can just reduce the opacity a little bit, maybe somewhere about 60-ish percent. Maybe a bit less. Let's try 50 percent. So already that's looking really, really good. It's just given just an extra hit of punch to the image, which I really like. So the next step is let's flatten those two top layers. Command Shift E, duplicate it, and we're going to go for a more localized, a more finer contrast or detail. So we're going to go filter, other, high pass filter again. And we're going to make it really, really small this time, somewhere around two pixels, I would think. Again, blend mode, change that to soft light, and it's going to give you a really, really sharp, detailed look. If you want to pump it up even further, if you want it to be more sharp and contrasty, change it to hard light. And the cool thing about this is if you go a little bit overboard, again, you can just back it off a bit with the opacity, and that is super, super sharp. So what I would then do then, and I'll give you bonus points if you do the same, is on the sharpened layer, on that last high pass filter layer, hold option and create a layer mask. So that's going to fill in the layer with black. And what you're then going to do is with the brush selected, keep it nice and, oops, keep it nice and soft. 100% opacity and flow. You can paint in the areas that you want sharpened and super contrasty and detailed. I would start with the hair and the eyes as well. Maybe a little bit on the lips. And then just any area that you want to really, really pop from the image. Just do a bit on the pockets. Maybe some of the ears as well. And that's it. If you want to check what you've done in that last step, you can hit the backslash key and that'll show you the areas that you've just selected. As you can see, you don't have to be too careful. So let's do a before and after. Before and after. A super sharp, but still quite clean looking photo. This has saved me a lot of, lot of time because I used to go through and manually dodge and burn my portraits, but I think this is a much quicker, much more effective option. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you learned something, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.